Do you feel like you were sent to earth on a mission and have this urgency to accomplish that mission, but you really don't know what that mission is? In this video, I'm going to be speaking about the three waves of volunteers, specifically the second wave. Welcome back, Infinite Creators. And if you're new here, I'm Ariana, and I'm a hypnotherapist and past life regressionist. And I help you dive deep into the powers of your mind to expand your consciousness and achieve self-prosperity. Now, in this video, I'm going to share a clip of a hypnosis session where my client wanted to know whether she was part of the second wave of volunteers. But before I do, I wanted to briefly give you some context about this in case you're unfamiliar. Hypnotherapist and past life regressionist Dolores Cannon wrote a book called The Three Waves of Volunteers and the New Earth, which I will link in the description below in case you're interested. In this book, she talks with clients of conscious and gathered information over the course of years about groups of souls coming to earth as physical humans to help the evolution of this planet. So we may move through the next phase, which is called the new earth. Now in Dolores's book, she outlined the years and ages that these groups of souls would be at this point in time and what their purposes are. Each wave has a different purpose, but ultimately the same goal. Now, many people don't even know that they are a part of this because when they came into this physical body, they forgot. I'll put some links in the description for you if you want to learn more about the three waves of volunteers. So in my hypnosis session with Jen, she wanted to know whether she was a part of the second wave, the second group. So watch what her subconscious had to say about this. Jen wanted to know if she was a part of the second wave of beings that was here to help and guide others to the awakening or good is she 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 wants me to say yes <laughs> <laughs> she does no, mm -hmm. no. Can, can you describe what the second wave can you describe their characteristics or what type of um, people they are very pure a very pure, intuitive people. They feel like a human feels, yes, because they're human. But um, there is something that's very, uh, they know their power. They know it. Um, but not in a, a, a way that they would use it for bad. So it's like iconic kind of power that you feel, that you've, you've seen throughout history, you know. Um, but there's people you've never heard of that have done great good, but, um, there are people that do good and have good intention and that's what we want to see, but it's not, um, it's not her, mm -hmm. no, uh, there is something different, but in her personality, but not her, no, um, <laughs> you could tell her we said yes and give a wink, um, but, uh, <laughs> But no, no, she's uh, here to experience it all. Mm -hmm. Does she know anyone that's a part of that second wave? Not yet, not yet. She will meet someone, a mentor or someone who mentors somebody else uh, in her journey. It's not, it's not here, it's not now. I see it uh, when she's like in her 40s or maybe even 50s, it's not now. She'll be looking for that for a while, but um, no, and she'll know when she sees it, you know, mm -hmm. she know she'll know, but it may, uh, that thought may have faded by then of uh, what that actually means. And it may have been something that she just um, grows into, you know, a way of, of uh, that type of person or her awakenment has, uh, become something different then but um it's not now what is jen's gift energy energy there's an energy she brings energy and you walk in a room and brings energy people look toward direction there's some she's a leader for sure um she's supposed to change something for sure mm -hmm. um and but uh there's an energy and i think that when she looks at herself more when she she feels how she can use that 
then then she can start to guide people but not everyone has that energy not everyone can speak up or or go against uh what they've been taught you know some people just like to um obey mm -hmm. is that the word obey? um and she doesn't she's a natural resistor she's a natural resistor there's lots of resistors and she's one mm -hmm. now honestly when she came to me with this question, I thought the subconscious was actually going to say yes. She was a part of this group. So that was a bit of a surprise. So after watching this, do you feel like you're a part of the wave of volunteers? Or maybe you have already discovered that you are. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, stay tuned to next week where we have a return client session and we talk about why she started hysterically laughing during her session about YouTube. You can see this video here and remember to subscribe and click the bell icon. Until next time, Infinite Creators, wishing you all abundance, love, and prosperity.